Welcome back. This is an Alex homework video on simplifying unit expressions. If you were to have some kind of a math problem inside a compound uh, function, you can cancel units, you can square or cube or um, raise to whatever power. Uh, you can do all kinds of things to simplify it so it's not so ugly. A lot of times it's going to be ugly in the middle, and then with your answer, you want it to simplify. This is a very particularly easy example. There would be some that would be more a little harder, but in this case, I've got a number. I can't I can't do anything to the number. If I had numbers top and bottom, I could you know I could divide, but this there isn't. So I, it's already down to its smallest terms. Kilogram, I don't have kilograms on the top and bottom, so I can't cancel anything. I just have to leave it there. Meters, I don't have anything top and bottom for meters, so it's going to be kilograms times meters on the top. On the bottom, though, I do have seconds times seconds, and the simplest unit would simply be putting them in terms of a power. So if I were going to rewrite this, again, simple problem, I have 3.6, I'd leave it alone. Uh, kilograms on the tops, meter on the top, but then on the bottom I would write square seconds. That's how I would uh, do this problem. You could al also put the seconds on the top if you wanted everything along the top, and then in case it would be 3.6 kg times m times s to the minus 2, and then that would all be along the top on the uh, by. This is probably how I would write it if, if I were doing this problem. Okay, thank you.